here to do monthly recommendations. I'm very excited because it's a really fun theme and the theme is it's new to you authors. So this is just authors that you haven't read from before and it doesn't matter what time you read them from or whatever but it's just authors that are new to you that you really enjoy. But I'm just going to pick new to me authors from 2017 because I could literally recommend every book Nelly because I the author was new to me at one point. So I'm excited because I've got six authors to recommend you that I read this year and I really enjoyed their works and I can't wait to talk about them. But the first author I'd like to recommend is Lainey Taylor and the books that I've read from her is Daughter of Smoke and Bone and Strange to Dreamer. I've still got more books to read but I just have not done it yet. The reason that these are amazing is because of the writing and the captivating storylines but honestly the descriptions can be sometimes a bit too much because sometimes it like the, for Daughter of Smoke and Bone made a lot more sense than Strange to Dreamer because this was just a bit confusing. There was a bit too much going on but overall the writing is beautiful and I loved it and I really want to continue on with this series but like after I read this book I just couldn't even think about trying to read it because I was so devastated by that book and yet I loved it so much like it has to be like my favorite book of this year because it's just so awesome but I really want to continue on so it's going to be something I'm hopefully going to do next year. The next author I'd like to recommend is Nicola Yoon who has written Everything Everything and The Sun is a Sort of Star. Again I read her contemporaries the first time this year and I actually read this one before I read this one which was a bit of a weird order but I love them. I love the way that they're set up and they're really short chapters and it happens really like quickly and it's just they're really fast reads but they have such great stories and I recently watched the movie for this and it was so good and now this one needs to be adapted into a movie because it's so so good. It was just it was also good. And I was hoping that she'd have like a new book coming out next year but there's nothing at the moment so hopefully soon she'll bring out another contemporary because I am definitely going to love it because all of her books are pretty awesome. Okay next I'd like to recommend Frances the Pia who has written Eliza and Her Monsters and Made You Up which I have on my shelf but I haven't read yet. I loved her style of writing and even though this one had like comic book in it as well Made You Up is going to be a bit different but I really loved the idea of this book and the way she wrote it and she has just really interesting story concepts and I just can't wait to see what else she's going to write. Next I'd like to recommend A.G. Howard who has written Roseblood and Splinter. Well she wrote Splinter first and I've read all the books that she has published so far and if not then I have not heard of them but I have really enjoyed these books and I did read Roseblood first and then I went to the Splintered series which was one that was sitting on my shelf for like years and years and years and I finally just did it and I'm so glad I did but overall I really enjoyed her writing style and I love that she does retellings and she does them really well because like I love the fact that the characters in the retellings know about the story like in Splinted she knew about the Alice in Wonderland story and then she goes through what Alice did and then here she knows about the Phantom of the Opera story and then she goes through it and it's just like oh my god but done really really well and I definitely love it. and covers are beautiful as well like just look at the faces like I can just join in and be like Ooh. <laughs> but definitely recommend. Next I'd like to recommend Carrie Maliscalo who has written Stalking Jack the Ripper. I've not read the sequel yet but it's happening and I just really loved her story and I probably she probably has other works or was this her first work I don't even know but it was so amazing this book and I can't believe I didn't get it sooner and like just read it but it was so good so beautiful and I definitely recommend this story like she just wrote such a good captivating story about Jack the Ripper and about like the history of it. She doesn't hold back on the gore which was intense and interesting to see in a book and I just I can't even recommend enough. She's amazing. The last author I'd like to recommend is Becky Albertalli who has written Simon vs. the Hopo Sapiens Agenda and The Upside of Unrequited and oh my god I literally read this book and then read a different book then read this one. Like I just had I couldn't get enough. I needed to read all of her books. She's got a book coming out next year that's about Leah from this book and it's called like Leah on the Offbeat so it's going to practically like a trilogy. All the characters in these books like they make cameos in each other's books and they're all there and I really liked that part of it but I just can't even like this story was so beautiful and this one was beautiful too and I just love that she writes such great stories about different people and it's just beautiful and like one of my again one of my favorite books of the year and just oh, I can't even I just can't even praise her enough like she just did such a good job. <laughs> Those are all my authors to recommend to you that are new to me from this year they were all amazing I really recommend them and I can't wait to see them write more because some of these have only written a couple of books and others have written heaps of books and I can't I just can't wait but anyway guys thanks for watching this video and I'll see you guys later. Bye!